Howdy folks, this is Steve KM9G and we are at it again with the Zygu radios. This is the Zygu G90 transceiver this time. We're gonna do the same test that we did with the X6100. We're gonna run the SWR scanner. It's kind of a hidden feature on this radio. You press function until the yellow light lights up, then you long press power and it scans the band. So we're starting at 13980 outside of the ham band and we're ending at 14430 outside of the ham band. And so we're scanning back and forth to reveal what the SWR is. And then down here, it's supposed to tell you, it's kind of hard to read, 1.0 at 13.986 is where this thing first sees the lowest frequency. But it, you can see it's 1.0 about halfway across the screen there. Over here, we have the tiny SA spectrum analyzer, and you can see that sweep happening in real time. Down below that, we have the MFJ849 power meter, and you can see that this thing is pumping out almost 7 watts, depending on where we are in the band. That's just crazy. So, one thing we should do is we should take it out of function mode and just regular press the power key. We're at 20 watts. So we already know it's not respecting that because it was putting out seven when we asked for 20. Let's ask for one and see what happens. So I press, whoops, let me get out of menu. I press the function key to get back into the function. Long press power, and now we're set down to power level of one and we're still pumping out seven watts. One more thing that's super interesting is that you can hear that on my Kenwood radio. I'm going to turn the Kenwood, well, I'm going to leave the Kenwood on. So you can hear that. Let's get out of this. And it's totally gone. That sound is totally gone. So a couple of things to note here. One is that it doesn't respect my power setting. I'm currently set at one watts. Two is that that SWR sweep is sweeping outside, putting power outside of the ham bands. And three is everything is inside of the near field here. So I might be dealing with some front end overload issues either on the tiny SA, which has zero dB of attenuation or on the Kenwood. But we've now taken this from being a ham radio transceiver and made it into a piece of test equipment. How does that fit into your test and tools scenario? I think that this is a fantastic bit of kit. I think this is probably one of the better features that Zygu has put into its radios. I would like to see it have less power output. Seems like it'd be a simple firmware setting to do that. Maybe they're watch and they will put out a new release of the firmware. Check out this video over here. I'll be over there waiting for you. Thanks for being awesome.